Hey, hey. 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 You good? Hey. All right. Hey, what's up? This is Latif. And I'm Angel, and welcome to Freestyle Lives on Stereo. A new platform where we come together to discuss various topics regarding the freestyle music scene. Where it's been. Where it's at. And most important, where it's going. If you're not already following us, please do so now so that you never miss an episode. And today's episode is Freestyle Music and the Youth. Let's get into it. I was wondering when you were going to come up with this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a very, it's a, it's something that I've been talking about for many years. Yeah. For many years. And a lot of people, I, I, there was a time when people weren't even thinking about that. They didn't see this part. They didn't get right. it. Right. Yeah. And when I, and as I, uh, as I tried to explain, that's when people start to, they start to catch on. They started to, right. they started to, uh, to understand where I was going with it. Like, you know, right away people think, yeah, you know, uh, you know, how do we get, how do we get the youth to want to go out there and, and get into, you know, show me or, or, you know, take me in your arms or, and, um, that's actually not the point. That's not the point that I, I've been trying to make. So, the, so you know, the point. Okay, so so I mean, so basically, the point that I was trying to make was not. I, I believe that the youth will eventually, in time, get into the classics. I think they'll get into the classics eventually. But what I want to do is uh, make them aware that there's a platform out there there's a which is the genre um which is wide open and can be a great opportunity for many of them and i'm talking about some of these artists these younger artists who are out there they're incredible incredible talents but they're not 100 sure where they're going with it oh i want to be a rapper or oh, i'm into r&b how how many times i get people that tell me oh yo i'm i'm a little bit of this i, I do i do hip-hop but my shit got a little country in it, R and B and opera. So they're all over the place. All over, and and you know, and the problem with that is what people don't realize is that when you do something like that, um, remember I worked retail marketing for Metropolitan, and the first thing that you have to realize, and this goes anywhere. This is like any any everything segmented now but let's start with the radio record stores there was no bin that catered to all those genres combined i learned that with my freestyle alternative dance compilation there was no bin that's why that was a hard sell that was a hard sell when i put that one out i did the freestyle you know alternative dance compilation okay uh not freestyle it was the, it was the style of free the alternative dance compilation and it was a little, I had Euro in it. I had Freestyle in it. I had Trip Hop in it. But there was no place for people to, to put this. Like they took the CD. Okay, so where do you want us to put it? Should we put it in the Euro section? I'll be like, no, no, because it's got other one. Well, should I put it in the Freestyle section? Well, not really. And they'll be like, well, we don't have a Trip Hop section. How about Hip Hop section? Well, it's not really it. You know what I mean? And right. I kind of like x myself out of the picture. And there's a lot of artists, a lot of young artists who are in that same space. They're, right. they're very talented. They know what they like, but they feel that, you know, by creating stuff that's like pretty much pretty wide, that they're going to get this huge audience. And what happens when you try to please everyone, you end up pleasing nobody, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, it was, yeah, it's very, you know, very interesting, you know, and I learned that the hard way. I learned that with an investment. Um, and of course, uh, talking to a lot of uh, retail people because I did marketing for retail. So I understood that. So if you look at my second compilation, it was called the Freestyle Finale, 1999 Freestyle Finale. 
So I said, okay, cool. I need to title. And that's the first time I ever used freestyle, the actual fr word freestyle in anything that I did. And from that point on, I, I always use it. Freestyle for life. But you also used to, did, did you change what you were doing? What type of music? Or did you still do all different types of music on the second? It was one? pretty you much, you know what? The producers were pre predominantly freestyle producers, but they were, they were exploring. So the, so the music was changing a bit, but we still cat we didn't change the, the category. Like we didn't, if it sounded more Euro or it was like, we had one song that was kind of like trancey. We didn't call it a trance, trance song or a trance mix. We kept it at freestyle. Right. So, you know, so some of these youth that are coming in that they're, they're really talented. Um, we need to, you know, we, all right, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. This is, this is actually pretty interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. More or less. Okay. When you, when, when show me first pop, when your biggest record blew up. Okay. How old were you? It, um, 19. 19. I was 18 when I recorded. I was 19. Okay. So 18, 19, late teens. <laughs> Yeah. What was the what was the average age of your fans? Average. My fans were my age and and older. Okay, predominantly what? Your age or the older ones? Which ones? Which were the? Which, which, if you had if you had a room full. Well, well, full of I popped first. I popped first in the club, so I would say my age and older, probably older, because it was in club. Okay. Okay, but that, I mean, how much older? Still, what, tw early 20s still? Yeah, yeah, maybe two, yeah. three old, two, three years. Right, okay, okay, so, so there we go. So you, now, can you say that this was the, this was the, the same situation for, for all the artists? Yes. For, for freestyle. Most of us the same age. Right, so most of the artists were the same age back then, and so were the fans, okay? So now, Let's go up to 2020 right now. You have a birthday coming up in a couple of weeks. Yes. And you talk you talk about your age, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I got, I got no oh, problem. Age. How, so how old are you right now? I am 54 years old right now. 54. Now let me ask you, right now, right yes. now, what yes. is the age of your average fan right now? I guess late 40s to 60s. Okay, more or less your age. Maybe, you know what? Let me not say late 40s because remember, we have those, a lot of people in their 30s that are into freestyle. I'm not asking about the wide range. I, you, you have from teens to 80 year old. I'm asking for your average. If My average says, is okay, probably being, okay, okay. If I say, if 40s I say to you can only give 50. me one age. 40s, Hold up. Okay. I, say, I would you, say 40s to 50s. No, okay, you didn't hear me. I said, if you can only give me one number, one age. Oh, one number. And, that, and okay, I got to target that one age. Hmm? What would be the age? 50. 50. So again, more or less your age. Right. So basically, your fans grew older with you. Right. Right? Okay. But, mm -hmm. however, for some reason... We think that we can get these young kids to become fans of you and fans of Johnny O and Stevie and Cynthia. Not saying it's impossible. It's not what I'm saying. I'm trying to do, you know, I'm trying to, to leverage, leverage this out so we kind of understand what we're dealing with here. Okay? I, 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 feel, I feel this is the way I feel about it. Okay? This is the way I feel about it. Um, just because they're a fan of the music doesn't mean that they're going to want to sing freestyle. Just like I was a fan of plenty of types of music, but I didn't want to sing that type of music. Right. Okay. But that's not where I'm at with this. All right. But so I'm talking about, I'm talking about freestyle and the youth. I'm not talking about other styles. I'm talking about what is it we have about, to do. I'm talking about freestyle and the youth. So I know a lot of young kids that like freestyle. But that doesn't mean that they want to go and sing freestyle. You get what I'm saying? Right. So what do we do? So this that's the problem. 
So how do we do that? Apparently, the generation that's doing freestyle right now are not the right role models. They're not the right They're role, not, role I'm models. Gonna you, I'm going to explain to you why. Because they want to keep the music the same. They do not want to change it. It's almost like they're treating freestyle like it's doo-wop instead of it's hip-hop. You understand? You're talking about who? The, the, like the producers? Everyone in general in freestyle. Like they never, they don't want to change. They don't want to change with the times. Just like so you think never it, All right, so okay, you listen, think if... Listen, so listen let me think, finish what I'm saying. Doo-wop music never changed with the times. It remained doo-wop music, right? right. Hip-hop music changed with the times. That's why you have old school, right? Mm -hmm. And you have current hip-hop, right? Right, right. Okay, freestyle is leaning towards doo-wop right now. They don't want to change with the times. What we need right now is new producers and new artists and their take on freestyle music. Their take. Not our take on it. Their take on it. Okay, yeah, because you can't really say that freestyle isn't there attempting because there's a lot of new freestyle records out there. And a lot of them, and if you listen, we don't listen to all of them. I've listened to some and they're using updated sounds. And they're okay. trying to they're trying to reinvent. And they're putting, and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of the the, the, so then the what's producers. The you have, you know, you have like the those Santana twins and the uh, Valentine and some of these other guys who are oh, out what? there. What is the problem then? Back back to the artists. Back to oh. the artists. You understand? They need your this is this right. See, they want to be attracted. People are attracted. That's why record companies like to get the youth. The youth, the youth attracts youth. The youth buy records. They go to clubs. We don't buy records, man. We we get older. We got other things. We don't buy records, and we don't we don't stream and stuff. These kids actually spend money on their iPhones and 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 they 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 buy music. They literally buy music. And they go right. to a lot of these concerts, you know, a lot of times, yeah, we get a lot of people at the concerts, but there should be a hell of a lot more. But, but do you, right. do you blame anybody? I don't, I don't want to go to a concert. So I got to use my own experience and I'm in this business and I can't even say, Hey, as much as I love it, I can't even go to a concert to, su to support it because man, I just don't want to be in that environment. Like we, we don't want to be there. So so the the whole idea is if we're trying to create new music using older producers and older artists and we're trying to go after a young audience i can't see that working now i can see some acts be reinvented but we're talking about like that share situation but you know that's a long shot and every that's, artist that's has a, that that's every a artist huge has long shot. Yeah, but every artist has that potential if you're willing to put in that kind of work. That's like work that's, you know, beyond what we, you know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson did the same thing, okay? Totally different ball game if you're willing to, but we don't want to work that hard. All we want to do is we, 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 we have this huge genre, we have this huge platform, this huge stage where artists can come into the fold, brand new artists, Record, have a song written and produced for them. Have it recorded, have it distributed, have have it have them booked, have them on stage, have them travel the country, and they could create some sort of celebrity more than some of them who are going after the R&B and hip hop and will never ever see not even a glimpse of success. See, freestyle right. can still show you a glimpse of su success. It's almost like. Freestyle <clears throat> opens the door and says, right. okay, look, the door is open. Now the rest is up to you. You go in there and mm -hmm. do what you got to do. The problem is a lot of times people go in, they don't do what they got to do. Okay, understand, understandable. That's just the nature of art, you know? However, yeah. with R&B and hip hop, sometimes that door is not even available. Right. That door is so cluttered, like, you know, no one fits, you mm -hmm. know? Let's hear this message real quick. Somebody's a Debbie Depp fan, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, yeah. I think that's, that's a great song because that's a song that even the kids love. That's like Santana's oh, yeah. favorite freestyle record. Yeah, yeah. yeah She's not. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. But, that's but a great so you song. see, so you see what I'm see where I'm going at with it. You see, yeah. I'm, 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 that's why I started out by comparing your age and the age of all the other artists with the fans. Susie was right. probably had the oldest fans compared to her age because remember she was she was a minor she wasn't even allowed in clubs a minor doing performances right. in clubs and the only people that could go into clubs were adults but then right. she grabbed this very very young audience because of her age you see what i'm saying so she grabbed she was able to grab the audience because of her age grab that young audience because they could relate those little kids could the little boys were in love the little girls wanted to be like her but then the right. music was was grown up music pretty much right. and the music and it had that feel that grown up feel to it so the adults were able to relate that ha- that's what happened with the Jackson 5 same thing they were they were kids yeah. but they they did yeah they did some bubblegum shit but most of their songs were about love right they were grown up they were grown up songs you right. know and you know and i'm trying to clarify i'm trying to make this clear because i think by, by everybody not just us because i understand it and you you understand because we've been through this many times right. you understand it right but i feel if we could get more people to understand this i think a, a light bulb will go off right and I, I think we can we can really get um you know a new stream of uh of artists to come through. You know, I wish some would call me and and even just to consult with me. Some of these new artists, like how can we find them? This is this was my thing. This was my thing, you know? So we compared the artists back in the days with the fans back in the days and we realized that they were the same age. Now we come back 30 years later and we see the fans, the artists at a certain age and the fans are more or less the same age. So Everyone travel together. The younger yeah. audience, however, is into artists who are more or less their age. So whoever those pop acts or those rap acts that are, are, are popping right now, you could compare them to a lot of the kids and most likely they're more or less the same age, give or take, with, with yeah. the, the exception of you know a few, okay? So mm-hmm. understanding this, where are these youth? Where are they hanging out? Where can we where can we find them? I mean, I would guess online on YouTube, people putting up their own music. Right. You right. know? And that's the beauty of now. I see the benefit we have. Think about back in the days before before social media. <clears throat> if we wanted to get in touch with artists and we wanted to kind of expose what we have to a younger generation and try to see if we can strike up some sort of interest. It's almost like we have to sell them. And trust me, there's not a lot of people that, that are trying to sell this. There's artists that are still trying to do their own thing. No way in the world are they gonna seek out competition. So that puts us back in, in a little bit of a hole. You know? But see, that's, that's, you just, you just, I don't think of it as competition. I think of it you as growing the Right, you don't. Maybe, maybe I think in the business sense of it. Let's think of the majority of the artists. Let's think about the majority of the artists. Do you honestly really think that they'll be out there trying to mold and mentor a generation that can possibly, you know, maybe bump them? That's how they'll look at it. I don't look at it as bumping them. This is what they don't understand. They started this whole game, you know, this whole freestyle right. game. So right. I couldn't see them not getting their props in the future. Right. So, Just so you, all right. So let me Just take, let me take trend. you. Right. So you as an artist, you as an artist, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's say a, a girl came in. Well, let's forget a group because that's too cliche to get three girls to go out there and sing all cover girl stuff. Forget that. But let's say we get three, uh, let's say we get one girl or let's say we get, let's say we get a guy. Let's say we get a guy that wants to come in, young kid. I don't know, 16, 17 years old, young. 
I'm gonna give them enough enough room. They got these new producers that are out there. Maybe there's some hip hop producers. They want to remake Show Me. I said they want to just flip that. Like us right now, we can't even contemplate. Like, what would they do? Like, how would they do that? And trust me, it's possible. It's possible with every freestyle song that's out there. But how would you feel? How would that? Do you think that that will benefit? Forget it. We know it will benefit them. Do you think it will benefit you in any way? Absolutely. Anytime someone remakes someone's song, it puts light on that original artist. Because then people start saying, wow, I know I know this song. Where do I know this song from? Oh, my God. Yes. They'll start searching to see where that song right. came from. Absolutely. Then in turn, they'll be searching for you. And then once they, they find you, they'll say, wow, was there anything else I loved about this person? They start listening to all your stuff. Because I know I do it. I know I've done it. Yeah. Well, not only that, you know what they'll do? Okay, because everybody does it. So somebody will go, they'll do a remake of Show Me for a younger crowd. They'll do, maybe it's a hip hop track, whatever the case may be, you know, and they'll go and they'll recreate it. You know, I'm using hip hop because I'm not using them coming in and redoing freestyle. I'm saying they're coming in, they're just flipping Show Me. They're just flipping it, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? And they, they come out now, what happens is these, you know, other people, they become fans. They end up checking and they're like, okay, that's where that song came from. Oh, okay. I wonder what else she has. Maybe I can take one of her other songs and flip right. that one too. Right. right? So now you get people going into because of you, inside, outside. They start flipping all these songs. Then they say, wait, mm -hmm. wait, let's see who else does like music like this. It's called freestyle or Latin freestyle or whatever, or freestyle from the 80s, whatever the hell they want to name it. Now they go in and they find the Cynthia's and they find the Sapphire's and they find and they start. Next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? And if this is done early enough, early enough, our our genre, our artists, our community is still young enough to not only enjoy it, but also benefit. Right. I agree. You know, you know, yep. then not only that, you know, if they're doing songs like that. So if artists come in and they start flipping these tracks and they're doing like whatever R&B and hip hop and they're trying to put records out. It's just a matter of time that somebody is going to want to remake your song pretty much as is, like to be a freestyle sort of singy, singy track, but with a whole other like twist to it. Well, I mean, all you gotta do is look at the way Black Eyed Peas did their songs. Yeah. They they, who did they, they, re who they, did they remake? They did. Freestyle genre. They did. They remade somebody, didn't they remake? It was it Lisa? Sweet. Your beat, right? Who? Was it? Can you feel the beat, Lisa? Lisa? Was that the song they took from? I think so. I think so. Yeah. I don't know how that affected. I never spoke but to Lisa I'm about it. About that, so I'm talking about in general. They had yeah. a lot of freestyle influence in their songs. Uh huh. Mm hmm. What I'm saying, and, and I know it have... can happen. And I know it can happen because I myself remade one of my songs 15 years later updated right. it and went to number one again with right. the same song not only that one. we also you've also had k-pop you've had those the, the kids from J japan that remade your stuff and they flipped it it wasn't totally the song and also from the um in india they used yeah, it the too. bollywood yeah they used it because of you yep yep and uh, yeah. yeah and that's crazy yeah, and, and the Koreans, K-pop, they use because of you. And then in Japan, right, right. They, they tell me. Right, right, right. That's right. The yeah. K-pop was uh, Korea. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Did because wow. of you. And also, like I said, Bollywood did because of you. <clears throat> so the so the thing is, you know, at this point is like, you know, like, what do you think? All right. So we know, okay. What do you think some of the things that you think would turn off, turn off? the youth towards our music. Like what are some of the, cause sometimes the way you, 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 you tackle an issue is so, you, you, know, look the you, exactly you look for the objections. You look for the objections. Exactly what you just said before, we'll turn them off. Rejection yeah. from the original artist. That's yeah, that's true. If they got backlash, absolutely. Yeah. If they put something out and they got back and they got backlash, that could turn them off right. from doing it. You know, you know, by hip hop is redoing so much and even sampling James Brown stuff, you know, that just kept him like that really, really solidified him as that that godfather, man. 
Right. You know, that right. really made him a, a thing within like what rappers don't know who James Brown is, you know? But they don't realize by these people redoing their songs or, or, or wanting to follow in their footsteps, that only immortalizes them. Right. That puts them on a pedestal. They don't get it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it helps. It helps to secure the legacy of the genre. Right. See, what's so, and, their own, what's, and their own legacy. And their own legacy as an artist. Right. Right. Because, see, people don't realize how easy it is for their names and their images to be totally replaced when they're no longer around. You know, right. how many, you know how many artists, you know how many artists from back in the days had remade songs from that were hits at one point that were just big records mm -hmm. and they took it off, they took it over and you have the young audience who has no idea that that song was a remake. I remember going through that many times. I remember hearing songs of my mother saying, you know, that's a remake from, from this one, right? I was like, really? Well, I, 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 remember hearing myself. I remember hearing myself say that to Adam and Erica and now saying it to Santana. That's a yeah. remake. And I've seen all yeah. the lyrics and I was like, oh, wow. I'm like, it's yeah. a remake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, remember I was telling, uh, do you remember? Remember the old song, Girls, I Love the Things They Ain't Know? Remember that song? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember yeah, I telling so. Adam, we were talking about a lot of the old songs back in the days. Yeah. All of yeah. a sudden, Adam calls me like years later. He goes, yo, dad, listen to the song. And he plays that freaking song. It's a hook. It's a hook from a rap song from a group that he was following. I forgot who it was. Yeah. I said, what I tell you, man? I said, you laughed at me. I said, what I tell you? <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> but, it, 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 but it's crazy. But yeah, you know, if, if, if the artist... See, the artists need to be remade now while they're still around. Exactly. Yeah. And, and they, right. they definitely will reap the benefits of it. They don't realize that. They'll reap the benefits. And not only that, they'll be able to solidify their legacy. I don't know how an artist cannot be concerned with that. I've heard artists say, man, I don't care about that as long as they pay me. I think that's very selfish to the to the genre. To not, or either that or... Though. I think it's bullshit. I think that they just... They're just not, they don't, they don't have that confidence in themselves. So are you concerned about your legacy when you're gone? You're not going to know. Absolutely. Not... Why do you think I let people know what I've said? Yeah. At all costs. Where the people want to say, oh, well, why do you keep saying that? We already know. Because there's always that one person that doesn't know. Yeah, you're right. That I sang those songs. So yeah, I'm going to let yeah. everyone know that I create, I sang those songs. That is my vocal. I created that. Right, right. Because listen, even while you were around, there was people trying to hijack it. They were trying right. to hijack people it. What? Hey, there's people still trying to hijack it. Yeah, yeah. Listen, this you know, people think that uh, they say, oh well, you know what? Um, is my my stuff's all over the internet? You know how easy it is to to drown whatever information you have on the internet all over with somebody else. Right. Very easy. Right. You can easily be drowned right. out. They could create a brand new group to sing all your songs, possibly even take your name. And if they know what they're doing on the internet, they can totally drown out every article and every image and anything mm -hmm. that has that ties this song back to you, even those videos. Right. Even those videos. They can go and recreate videos that make your videos look like they were somebody's homemade school project. Right. And it's very, and you're not there to protect it. Right. Now's the time for the for the artists to open the doors, even if they have to go out and look for these artists themselves. Every artist gets approached by new artists. I'm a singer. I'm a, oh really? Oh cool. Let me hear you. Oh that's cool. Yeah. Take it a step further. Ask them. Ask them. Hey, do some research. I remember sending a producer. Not too long ago, young kid, he was really good. And I'd send him out. I said, hey, um, go listen to, to some of the, the freestyle stuff. Go on YouTube, hear some names, and see if you could recreate some of that stuff. You know? And he went, he started working on it, you know? And I said, you know, and I have him on file. If I find a really good artist, a young artist, because he's young, and I can right. group them together, I think there will be a phenomenal way. Oh my God. 
You know, I think that would be incredible. You know, and and you find you know, the, the you find the right team kids. Yeah. There's no there's no stopping them. There's no telling right. what they can accomplish because if right. you look at the the group that we were, you know, it was the Cover Girls, right. Latin Rascal, Andy, Sapphire, Naomi. You know, we were like right. this little clique that were all right. working right. with each other. You know right. what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, and that's another thing I was going to tell you. See, and that's important. See, one artist isn't going to do. Really, it's not. It's going to be hard. But if we can really get a nice stable of of artists, I'm talking about other people that want to get into management, wanting to get you know into you know stuff like that. You know, this is the stuff that needs to be done. You know, go out and look for this. Spend that time. Now we're going into a new year. Look for those kids, man. Now's the time. Well, look at these artists. Half of them know what it takes, so they can be great mentors and managers for these artists. Absolutely, I, I did a whole vlog on that. Yeah, I did a whole vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The artists, the artists will make, but the whole thing is again. You want to move so into many... another, another part of the freestyle music industry? Move into management. Move into. Well, you know promote. what? It, you know what it is. You could tell because a lot of them are still releasing material. So you know what that tells you is they're still. It's, and a lot of them are not doing it just because they love it. They're still reaching for the stars. Right. And when you, you know, you know, if you're still swimming, trying to swim to the shore, it's really hard for you to stop to help somebody else. I yeah. understand this. I understand. Yeah. I understand this mentality. Yeah. You know. So you yeah. know, <clears throat> but um, but uh. I mean, me personally, I'm content. If I never ever sing another song. I know that right. I've sang some incredible songs. I've sang some incredible hits, and I'm good with that. That's why I don't so run been, to go record songs. So if a young girl, so if a young girl or young boy came up mm-hmm. and knew nothing, was was a great singer, but we really had, didn't have. Nowadays, I don't even think people step in with too much direction. I don't think people are coming in. I think people just want to sing. Music has become so like. It, like, look at, you know, people, look at the, even the hip hop is. Sometimes you listen to a hip hop song and you're like, what is that shit? Is that like, is that like a pop? Is that, is that an R&B song or rap or it kind of, right. I don't know, sound, you know what I mean? It's so, it's so mixed right now. Like, like, like yeah. the world is creating. And you know why that's happening is because artists now are in control. Mm-hmm. This is why the music is starting to change. It's no more the executive saying, no, 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 no. It's got to have this beat. You got to sing about this. It's got to sound like this. You need this guitar player. You need... That was the formula. So the, the exec stuck to that. The kids now, because of the way the world is and technology, they're in control. So what you're hearing now from these artists is true art. You're hearing their expression. Let's let's check these messages real quick. Don't go tonight. Stay here one more time. Remind me what it's like. Oh, let me fall in love one more time. I need you now by my side. It tears me up when you turn me down. I'm begging, please, to stick around. Um, I'm sorry, don't leave me. I want you here with me. Don't tell me that your love is gone. That your love is gone. All right, okay. Hey, so check this out. Anybody... I want to know something. I want to know something. Is that already a song? Well, check this out. Hold up. Before we even go there. Okay. All right. Now, remember, we're doing freestyle for youth. So, you know, with the with the stereo app, we got to be careful with the youth coming on. So, I don't know who's who. So, I don't want to bring up those questions. But this is the deal. What? The question is if that's already a song? No. Whether we're dealing with youth or not on this app. Oh no, you're not supposed to deal with any. No, I know that. Right. All right. So hear me out. Let me let me let me finish what I'm saying. Anybody who's kind of tuning in, and anybody who's an artist or knows of an artist that is young, do not have them 
not saying that this guy is because I, I can't tell, but don't have them come in to here to audition or whatever, but try to seek me out. My name is on the thing and I'm everywhere. Just find me and then let's talk and I could guide you. I just don't want to do it through this app because I get a little worried about them uh, interfering or knocking it down. So, but not allowed uh, I'm, to have I'm, anyone under 18 years old on this app. We are not yeah, allowed yeah. to have anyone under 18 years old on this app. Yeah, so we're more than happy to listen to whoever you have. More than happy. My name is on there. You can find me through our social media. Find me somehow. Let me know how you heard about us. What is it you're trying to do? And I will, we will help you out. Okay? Let's go to the next one. Minguinho. 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 Okay. Whoever that was. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> no way of screening. No way of screening this. Yeah, no way of uh, screening this. Yeah, we uh, never know what's gonna pop up. Yeah. So, but um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, yeah. So, so it's really interesting. Is I mean, we might seriously be onto something again, and I'm hoping that with with what we're doing here, I'm really hoping that that. You know, maybe we can we can really uh, get some get some interest, get some real serious interest. People have no idea the potential that's in front of them. All we want, and so many people are going to block it. That's the sad part. Me and Angel are not going to block the situation. We're not going to block it. We're not going to do it. We will open up the door. And we will do what we can to try to help out. We cannot create magic. Yes, the I do not has... have a magic wand. I cannot no, create talent, Not only the talent, because we'll run across a lot of talented people, but that passion has got to ride. And and, and, and more than and more than passion and more than talent. You have to have the right attitude. The attitude is important. So important. I, people will work faster with an untalented person with a great attitude and a great passion than they would with a very talented person with a crummy attitude and like no passion. So keep that in mind, it's not always about talent. Okay, it's not always about the talent. It helps, yeah. it helps, but it, it's not a- Talent, no, talent is, is key, but you got, yeah, you definitely gotta have that triangle. You gotta have all three of those, uh, those aspects there, you know? So, but, um, you know, I just want people to know that, you, you know, we are, we are, we're excited to help. We're excited to be able to see, I would love to go. Now you'll get me to a concert. If I could go to a concert and just see everything that we're talking about, just come to life. I would love that. There, there you go. I'll be there. I'll be there. You know, I mean, babe, can you, can you picture that? I absolutely can picture it. That's the crazy thing. I can absolutely picture it. I can see it happen. I can see it happen in our lifetime. Yes. Yes. Um, and, and definitely, I say reach out to at Latif Mercado if you can. If you can't get in touch with him, get in touch with me and I'll get you to him. At yeah. OCG Angel. At Latif Mercado yeah. at OCG Angel. Yeah. And follow us. Follow us yeah. on this app. Yeah, you guys might have, you might have nephews, nieces, kids, neighbors, who, who you, you know, we don't want to waste time either, you know, so you have to really screen people out. So, you know, but we'll talk with whatever we have to say, whatever we'll, we'll listen. It can get overwhelming, so I might be putting myself out there, but I'm open, I'm open to, to listen and especially with emails, emails always help. Don't send me a ton of tracks because it doesn't start with that. Um, but um, and then also, you know, we get some of the artists. I've had artists who also have their kids and their nieces and nephews who are artists. And, and it's cool to back them up. But the problem I have is don't try to build your kids or your nieces and nephews up to help your career. Don't do that. Don't mm. do that. If you got yeah. your career, run with your career and let them have theirs. Get behind the scenes, stand behind the curtain, and push them with everything you got. Teach them everything you know. Give I mean, them you know, that me opportunity. Myself, me, myself, I would love a legacy of putting together artists and producers. The right artists and producers to, to continue 
the freestyle music genre. I would love that. I would love that to be my legacy. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, same thing with producers. Right, exactly. Producers. I would love to be able to put them together. You guys you know? know R&B and hip hop, and you know how to do the beats, and you know, reach out. Let, let's, you know, the the key is we have to, you know, key you in with with an artist. Would I put you with an old school artist? I'm sorry, I won't do that. I won't. I don't find any interest in that. That's me. So if you're gonna do a track for any of the acts that are, you know, you know, currently out there, that doesn't interest me. That's that's not what I'm talking about. You can always reach out to them on social media direct and work with them. That's fine. But that's not where I am mentally. That's not what I'm trying to I'm trying to get at. I'm talking about young producers who have this incredible, incredible ear that we do not have anymore. <laughs> and then we can find these artists that have this incredible, incredible talent that really, I don't know. I think you know, you have a great ear. I, th I think you still have a great ear. It's crazy, but I think you still have a great ear. Well, because I, I, know. See so you, do, I see so you, you like I don't, things with a lot of young people. Yeah, but but no, but what I'm yeah, but still, but still, you know, I yeah, I understand. I think you do, and I, so, I think a lot of the artists do. A, a lot of us, we have good ears because we're in the music business. Is what we did for our living. But with a lot of the younger producers, the new ones, it's a different ear. It's not even as a good ear. It's a different ear. They're hearing the future. We it's hard mm -hmm. for us to hear the future. We right. can hear the future once we hear it, but they're hearing right. the future and creating it. They're and feeling have it. To be, yeah, they know they yeah, they're living it right now. We have to be open. We can't be so cocky where we think that they don't know. Because let me tell you something, a hot producer, young producer could create a track and we'll be like, yo, that sounds like garbage. And then that shit goes out to sell several million copies. Because you know what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you got it. I, I will never sleep on it. I would if someone's playing me a track, my eyes will look at all the other kids around say and try to see their reaction. Hmm. Because maybe I'm not hearing that shit the way they're hearing it. You right. know, so I'm gonna watch everybody's house. If I see my granddaughter start bobbing her head, I'm like, hmm, hmm. Okay. If I see my grandson trying to mouth the words, I'm gonna be like, hmm, Nah, he'll be dancing. Okay. <laughs> he'll be dancing. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's check these That's messages. Michael Jackson. <laughs> I just wanted to say what up to the people in the room. You know what I'm saying? On lunch break right now and just trying to vibe with y'all. What's good? Thank Shots you fired. for joining us. What's up? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Glad you're tuning in. I hope you could you're vibing with the conversation and seeing where we're going with it. Maybe you got some input. We're open. We're here. We need help too. We need that. We can't do it by ourselves, so we need. We really need help. We need. We need some ideas. I wish that I was good enough. If only I could wake you up, my love, my love, my love. What you say you love. Okay, buddy. You there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have to mute that I one. I think it's a second, kid. I, lost you, I lost you for a second there. Yeah, so I have to mute that one. When they, guys, if you keep, if you're coming on and trying to audition, I'm going to mute you. Simple as that. That's not what this is for. We're only on here for an hour. I told everybody how to reach out. If you do it again, sorry, got to go. Let me listen to this. What's up, Latif and Angel? Just chilling here. I'm at the doctor's office getting the COVID test done. So just coming on here and say what's up. All right. Hope you guys having a good day. All right, bro. Well, hopefully everything uh, works out well for you. Absolutely. Hey, Tom. I'm praying for um, you right now. Yeah, Tom is all right, man. That dude's too yeah. big. That COVID, COVID, that's a big dude. That COVID can't even reach him, man. That should get up to his, <laughs> that should get up to his belly and drop down. It's like, yeah, you always got to tell I swear. That's just too... <laughs> You know, I always mess with Tommy. I got to mess with Tommy. <laughs> so, Tommy's my boy, people, for those who don't know. I don't. I pick on him a lot, but he he's cool. He's cool. I won't do it in well, his we face. We were watching though. that TV he's, show last big. night. Did it remind you of Tommy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy has a big yeah. old teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. But, um, but anyway, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I want to, I want to, I, wanna, I, I really want to, um, I'm hoping I want to come back to the subject, not tomorrow, 
soon. I want to see. I'm hoping that this resonates. Why not tomorrow? Why not tomorrow? Um, no, because I have other topics. But you know what? Let's give this one time to sink in. People can hear the replay. Let's see if it resonates with anybody. And maybe we can get some feedback on it. You know, and then when we come back and we bring it up again, uh, we'll move with it. But I want to kind of, I want to move, I want to keep the topics moving. And then we can revisit the topics later on. That way we can keep it going. You know what I mean? But once again, once again, if you do want to reach out and you feel that you're a great singer or you'd be a great manager or you'd be a great producer, reach out to at Latif Mercado at L-A-T-I-F-M-E-R-C-A-D-O at Latif Mercado. If you cannot reach him, you can reach out to at OCG Angel or Angel Louise Mercado. Yeah. Or just follow us here and and stay just with follow us. Follow us and, here. Yeah, we'll and we'll. No, I'm saying know, we'll off. A, Listen, if they're right. a youth, you don't want them following you. So. Right, right, right. Right. You need them well, to that means. Out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um. But anyway, yeah. So all right. So we covered. You know, we covered a few things. We understand that the age is a, is a plays a plays a role. I think that's so important to 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 be clear about. A lot of people talk to people about this. They overlook this part. You know, a lot of artists think, you know, and we have a lot of our old, uh, so-called new school artists that are in their 50s. And that's beautiful. Be new school. I'm cool with that. I'm not dissing that. I think that's wonderful. And I think that's what freestyle is about. And I don't want that to end. And right. anyone who's out there really still pushing for their dream and, man, keep going. I don't care what anybody else said. I know people have said out there, oh, stop doing that. It's hurting the market. It's not hurting shit. It's not hurting shit. You keep doing... If you feel you went through you have a song in you that you want to put out there, do it. I agree. Put it out there. I don't care if you're 89 years old and you want to be a freestyle Absolutely. singer and open up for the cover girls. Do you. Do it. Don't listen to anybody else. Okay? And 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 you can tell them I said so. You keep doing you. You keep pushing for nobody. Nobody should be getting in the way of anybody else's dreams. Okay? That's right. So, mm -hmm. you know, you keep, you keep doing you. Um... You know, uh, but where I'm going with this is, yes, when we're an older talent, it is very difficult, not impossible, too difficult. Do, do you do you think? Do you think if there were a lot more new promoters, we would get a lot more new artists and a lot more producers? No, I think it's the other way around. I don't. I think. I think it's the other way around. I think if we get. I think if we get more artists and producers, because I put them on the same on the same uh, shelf, they go hand in hand. We we can have but, a great artist, but, we... but but we have so many artists still performing. Don't you think if there were more promoters and more shows, there would be more opportunities for new artists? You still um, have all the artists. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will open up more. And there isn't enough shows, so if there right. were more promoters, right? Wouldn't that yeah. be an opportunity yeah. for new artists? No, no, yeah, yeah. There'll be that. It'll open up more platforms, but will that sustain it? Will that? Will that sustain it? I don't think having a lot more clubs and stages are going to, um, you know, turn new people into. I think we have to go the other way around. I think we, it, it almost has to work simultaneously to be to be real, you know? We need to have an influx of new talent and at the same time, an influx of new promoters to host that talent. So I kind of think it got to go, it has to run hand in hand. Right now we can use new promoters, but I think the new promoters right now will definitely benefit our current rosters, the people that are out there right now, right? And then later on, as we're developing the new talent, then there'll be these new platforms that, for them to go up. That's exactly. Because, okay, I'm going to tell you what you just did. You did guy uh -huh. speak. You did guy speak. <laughs> Meaning, I just said the same exact damn thing. And you just well, twisted I mean, it around a little bit. No, I made, it make, I made now, it make sense. And now it's your idea. I made it make sense. Now, I made sense. I made absolute sense. Okay. You did guy speak. That's what you did. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know with this topic here because we're gonna get into that topic. Hey Latif, but, hey Latif, maybe you should write a book about blah blah blah. Um, you know what I just came up with? 
I should write a book about blah, blah, blah. <laughs> really? Uh, I wonder where you got that idea. Hey, I give I give you credit in all my books, all right? So you get credit. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I, you, you just get, said you, exactly what I said. You just okay. said exactly what I okay, just said. But what said. I'm saying is the actual promotion area, you know, we have a whole thing on that. That's a whole other topic. That's why I didn't want to blend the two because it could get blurry. It could get blurry. Right now, what I want to do is I want to put in the head, I want to put in people's heads, the youth and freestyle. And I want it to be really clear. Like I might not be able to articulate it the way I want to. I want people to walk away from this discussion and kind of think about it, say, okay, you know what? I get it. I see what you're saying. Just think about, or anyone listening, think about when you were younger, who were you a fan of? Do you remember the age more or less? There's a good chance that the ages was more or less your age. And if they were teenagers, you could have been really young. You could have been five years old and been a, a, a fan of a teenager. Very rarely you're gonna be a, a fan of a 30 year old when you're, you know, but even though now with the internet, things are changing. They're, they are changing, but I don't wanna talk about what's changing. I wanna talk about what I see right now. You know, so I want people to, I want people to really, um, I want re people to really vibe into this and try to, try to understand where we're, where we're coming with this, you know, and I hope it could change. Cause I've brought this up. I've done, I've done vlogs well, I mean, on I this. Was and, I wasn't trying to change the subject. I was basically just saying. Right. We no, need, you're right. Oh no. We right. You're right artists, but, we need new right. managers. We need new promoters. Right. I, yeah, and each one of those, we can do a whole topic on each one of those. Absolutely, we, I agree. But but this I is agree. a huge task, and we don't want to confuse We need the collective. People. We need the collective. Right. See, the managers, every, listen, you get a hot, you have a hot talent, everybody's going to want to manage them. You get a hot talent, but, everybody, but what I'm everybody's going to want to book, a lot, artists, wanna book them. a lot of these artists know the business. They know the business. Yeah. They may not right. want to perform anymore. Why don't you? Put on your management hat. Start right. managing. Or start promoting. Yeah. They should. They they honestly, they not that you know what, but the thing is, this is the deal. I think a lot of them feel that by them taking on management or even a mentorship, because even management, <clears throat> management is management is good. Some people might just want a mentor, but sometimes they feel that in order for them to manage, they kind of have to retire themselves. And I don't believe that. Absolutely not. I think, no, I think you it's important. Why? And I don't think I don't think if an artist if, if an artist is doing something, I really don't think you should have your new artist open up for you every show. I think that's a taboo too. You gotta be careful with that. You gotta really let the artists grow their own legs. Because the minute you step out of the scene, they're gonna collapse. You gotta get artists and you got if people are not calling, if people are not calling you and say, hey. I want you to perform. Can you get your guy to open up for you? If you're not getting that, then I don't know about initiating it. I'm 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 on the I'm on the fence with that one. Maybe if you do a promo here and there, but you got to make sure that they're bringing the goods. I, you know, I don't listen, see a like, problem. I don't see a problem with having them open up for you as long as they're good. Well, that's it. That's good, it. And but, you're giving but, them but, a pretty show, and you're giving but, them a pretty show. It's not working. Okay, but check this out. Every artist is going to feel. Like their artists is good. So now you're going to have all these artists throwing their artists on stage because they think they're good. But the, but the promoters really don't want them. How many times have we seen that? How many times have we seen promoters be forced to put on somebody's daughter or be forced, forced to put on, you know, somebody's spouse or something? They don't want that. They don't want sure. that. You know, let the artists grow their own legs. If anything, bring them to the show and let them watch you. And then when they, you're done with your show and you're going on your way back home, you know, uh, um, talk to them. Say, well, what did you know? Well, I mean, I agree. I agree with, I half and half agree with you. I don't think that they should bring these new artists to perform at these big concerts. No, I don't. But if they're doing an intimate club on their own. Right. I well, know. Be be so, yeah, I mean, be, be selective. Be selective. Be selective. But, Absolutely. But, Absolutely. But do it. But you see how we it. met in the middle? Do you see how you right. and I met in the middle? Right. But do it like a showcase. Do it more like, okay, listen, 
So we've been working on this track for three months, okay? So next week, next month, I have a show. I'm gonna have you open up. Let's see how you do. And then that artist has to do their thing. And the one who's mentoring them needs to step back, see what they're doing, see what they're... And then when you guys get back together at the end of the show and you're on your way home, talk about it. See what's, well, what's going it. on. Film it if, and you'll like that. Yeah, what they it. yeah and, then, and then when that, when that, if that artist still is not gaining and you're not getting the phone calls, then you need to work more with that artist. What I'm saying is don't force feed the, the public into loving your act. That never works. But usually in that's a club... Not, in a club, you can let somebody open up and sing one song, and it really doesn't matter. Yeah, that's matter. fine. Yeah, that's it fine. It will never hurt that's... the show. It will never yeah, hurt the show. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But you know, but you know what? People can get very comfortable with that. You gotta realize if you practice something a thousand times wrong, it's always gonna be wrong. You're okay. gonna brand yourself with that wrongness. You're gonna embed that wrong in your in your in your entire psyche. Mm -hmm. So you know. Make it a critical kind of move. Make it constructive. Don't just throw the artist up on stage and, okay, that was fun, let's go. But now yeah. it's come off the stage. You should have that promoter coming back and say, hey, man, if I want to book that your artist again for, like, their own gig, for a solo, what would you what would you charge me? That's it. It has to get to that point. Babe, how many times I told you, and I tell a lot of acts, as an agent, as an agent, I can get you on the stage but it's up to you to get back. You understand? Right. I can get, get I'm back. an agent. I can sell you. Or to get, on, or to get repeat business, to get repeat business. Oh, right. For a repeat big business to event. So I can promote you to an, uh, to a promoter. I can tell the promoter, yo, this is the best group in the world. I can give them all this promo material. I can show them the clips and the pieces of the video clips that I want them to see that look good. Send them, right? And then you go on stage. And you do your thing. And if you get off that stage and a whole year goes by and that artist, that promoter never calls me back for you. Hmm. You know, that, that, that can't be, it has to be the point where I could get you on the stage, but you have to rock the house. Now it's your job to get us back on the stage. Right. I can't force a promoter to lose money twice. I can right. get them a promoter to possibly lose money once. If they can't sell tickets or whatever the case may be, but they're not going to do it twice. Right. <laughs> you know? So. Right. <laughs> hey, well, let me listen to these messages. Of, those of you out of Chicago, I will be out there New Year's Eve performing mm -hmm. and celebrating my birthday. Come on down. It's all good, Latif. All the love, my brother. All the love. I know. <laughs> Some. You know, I'm while I'm listening to you guys, I'm thinking, of course, this is Dee Marie. Hi, guys. Um, hey. You know, we're we're releasing a new song today that we, um, of course, we're we're not quite in our fifties yet, but we're almost there. And this is going back to how do we bring the youth in? So I'm wondering, you know, we utilize someone that's probably um, a producer who has the ear for an old school ear for freestyle, right? And hey. he's come up with a new sound in a sense. And then um, our label is use, utilizing um, someone that's completely away from the freestyle um, industry as far as for our mixing mastering. So it gives us a okay. little like cool flair to our music. Yeah. Um, but I'm wondering, do we need this new music, say, you know, with Jesse B, Shy, George Anthony, who are releasing these songs to make freestyle sound cool again? You know what I'm saying? For the youth um, to get them interested, you know? Um, D. Marie, I hear you. Um, okay, how do I say this? Okay, so I, I want to be I want to be straight up because I see what you're doing and I appreciate what you're doing, and I, I know your hustle. I see it. I might not always engage only because you know every time I'm online, I'm posting some of my own shit. <laughs> so, uh, but I see what you're doing and you're out there and you're making moves. And I think anybody who's working with you is on a good platform. I think they're they're lucky. They're lucky. Uh, you definitely got the hustle and you got and you know your shit. So. Um, so I definitely, I definitely give you props on that. Yeah, listen, let's go back to what we were saying. And I hate to bust bubbles, but it'll be very difficult for your artists to grab the youth. It's be difficult. It's a combination of the producers you're using and the artists themselves. Now, it's not, not, it's not totally out of the question. Well, but, it's, not, it's not out of the question because, because she's using someone to mix the songs that 
isn't in the freestyle genre. But this is the deal. Mixing, a good, a good mixer is totally invisible. Nobody ever gives props to the mixer because the mix is so good that that shit doesn't stand out. That's a good mix. A mix is a song that you never have to talk about the mix, okay? I hear where you're going with it. But what I'm saying, it's a combination of all three. It's like you can have a brand new modern house with an uh, 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 antique interior, <laughs> you know what I mean? And a, a Japanese landscape, you know? Um, it, it's just, um, that's the only thing. I, I, I don't know if going after the youth is... You know, and I, you know, I can say, oh, yeah, yeah, you can do it, you can do it. I might be wasting your time. I don't want to do that with you. I don't want to do that with myself either or with anybody else. If you, your artists are more or less going to be, going to attract fans more or less of their age. That's who's going to fantasize about your artists. That's how that is. Think about it. Growing up, we all had posters on the walls. Okay, we had posters of Farrah Fawcett. Bruce Lee, the cover girls, and this one and that one. Everybody had them, okay? Um, even though Fab Four, they were a little old, they were a little older than us, you know? Um, but we we tend to, you know, when it comes to artists, the fans a lot of times are attracted, are attracted to those, to those artists, whether they're male or female. The guys are in love with them, they think they they look good, they fantasize about being with them and Vice versa. It's going to be hard to get, you know, and I'm trying to say this like really delicate because I have artists too that are in their 50s. And do I think a 14, 15 year old is going to want a current photo of the cover girls on their wall? I don't know. I would. I'll take it. I would. You know, let's just, I'm just trying to be realistic because if we're not realistic, we tend to waste time. And sometimes I try, I'm trying to articulate it as best as I can. And I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping it. So I'm, what you're trying to say is <clears throat> she will still be able to hold on to the fans of freestyle that are around our age. Right. But I would you current, don't know if she'll be able to pull in the youth with what she's doing. Yeah. It, yeah. It's okay. just, you know, it's just the reality of where it's at. You think about, you have a 13 year old, um, who's one of her artists, Jesse? I think she said Jesse. I think I know Jesse. Was he's he from Chicago. Legacy? Out of Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know. Who oh, no, he's okay. Yeah, I think he's out of Chicago. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was with Legacy. Um, so you think about this, okay? I have a nine-year-old daughter, a granddaughter. I really don't want her to have a Jesse post on her wall. That's just me. That's just me. Somebody else might. It might seem strange. Um. You know, back in the days when the Justin Bieber was kicking, even him, he's kind of old now. I don't want him on the wall either, you know? But, you know, that's just the way the whole artist kind of system. I just think if you put more focus into the current fan base, I think you'll win. I think that's where your winning ticket is, is with the current fan right, base. Right, that's what I said. With the people yeah. who are already freestyle fans, who right. are more, more or less around the same age. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's now, where... Now, she wants to pull in the youth, she has to find a younger artist. Yeah, it's just, you know, now, now, listen, your artist might just do something and then smack me in the face with it. I don't know. You know, it is possible. But The only reason that could happen to me is, look how old Black Eyed Peas were. And they got the youth. Right, but a lot of times they never stopped. Like, there was no, like, they grew with it. Like, they grew, they constantly, and you get that a lot. You'll get And you get that now more. And you also get that with a lot of the, the rappers. You have the Drake who, as they get older, the audience gets older and they, they kind of, they just hold on to it and they grow and they continue. And we're able to do that now with social media. They're able to connect with their audience and other audiences and just kind of grow with them and hold on. We, we kind of lost that because of when we came up, we didn't have all the, the social media stuff, you know? But I, you know, listen, we have an incredible fan base now and it, it sustains a lot of us. And I think that if you put your focus into them because you know where they're at, they'll be a lot more open to what you're doing, a lot more appreciative, and it will just make a lot more sense. And again, 
that's just my opinion. And you know, and then you guys sit down with your crew, scratch your head. I just would hate for you to to waste your time trying to chase something that might be a little bit, you know, might just not be necessary. Might not be necessary, you know? Let me check this. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you on the brand new house, <laughs> antique interior. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Um, yeah, we're, I, I'm, you know, I'm trying to figure it out too. How the heck can we do this? You know, how can we get yeah. the youth interested? Um, my kids like to listen to it. They say it's cool, but at the same time, they go right back to the Post Malone's or, <laughs> exactly. Um, exactly. you know, yeah. artists like that. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's an interesting battle. I would love for Freestyle to come back. I would love to be a part of it. Um, just trying to find the formula. Yeah, you got the formula. You, you got it. You get it. You get it. There's, uh, you know, I'm not telling you anything you didn't get. You probably just want to see if we felt the same way. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. And it, it's not dissing anybody. It's nothing bad. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Just, you know, embrace what you do have, you know, and just do the best that you can with it. And and the, and, the, and that's open to you. You know, you got, it's easy. You know the promoters. Like, why go backwards? Why why deal with the, you know what I'm saying? Deal with, deal, deal with these promoters, you know? And, and at the same time, Build your own skills and your own knowledge because that kid might come by and that kid might be able to do exactly or, what you're trying. Or put, hmm? put out feelers for young artists. Put out yeah. feelers. She knows people. Reach out yeah. to everybody. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you know a kid mm -hmm. that is talented and may yeah. want to pursue, you know, freestyle yeah. music? And when we say kids, honestly, young. You know, you got to realize it take a few years for them to get seasoned. So, if you know, right. you bring them in early 20s, 16, they're already going to be old. Is great. I yeah, think 16, 16, 17 is great. Yeah, of course, you got to have the permission with the parents. But that's not a big deal anymore. You know, it's really it's really not a big deal. You have to get them involved somehow. But it, it would definitely give you good ground. And if you use that um, the right way, even if they decide to dip on you later, because all of a sudden the parents become those parent managers and they want to... That's fine. You got you. You by then you probably created and built yourself a really, really strong network. And at that point, you could you could bring anybody through that. I think it'd be incredible. You know, mm -hmm. let me check this. I think I'm going to have to second this year that uh, I think that attracting a younger audience is only possible from a younger artist. And the other thing is that I, I would say that a young the current young audience right now they don't want something that's too polished. You know, they want rough, they want things that are out wow. there and in that's social dope. media and then evaporate. And they also want something that, that they want the whole artist. They don't want just, they don't want just the song. They don't just want the track. They want to know everything about the artist. They want the whole lifestyle, Un more raw and, and, and unfiltered yep. uh, uh, of yeah. that person. They also want to see how that person is, is uh, how the process? They want to see actually how the sausage yes. is made. Strange yes. enough, and and it, they don't have so much fantastic ideals as generations before. Yeah, yo, House of Pancakes, bro. Thank you, man. Hope you guys are following us. Um, I you, agree with so everything. You, I agree absolutely. with everything you just said. Yeah. But yeah. I will say this. I will say this. I think that an artist does have to be polished, even if they're young. But. They have to be polished, whereas you don't know they were polished. You get what I'm saying? Well, 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 hold up. But oh, wait, like so what he's... Natural. What they're doing is natural. Well, this is what he's he's bringing up. And this is, I totally agree with this, okay? It's not about not being polished, but they like to see the process. See, being transparent right. and documenting, documenting the process of becoming polished, I think is a huge, huge seller. And it pulls the, it takes the the audience in on a totally different level. It's like we were, I was watching Russ. With them. You're taking them on the journey. Russ was in the studio, you know, creating a song that I love. I, lo I watched that whole damn thing. It was what, like an hour? <laughs> you yeah. know, I watched, yeah. I just, yeah. I love, I love to see stuff really raw. I tell you this all the time, right? Right. I create a logo. And be like, we should do this. No, no, I'm gonna leave the logo like this, and then in the next three years, I'm gonna upgrade it. And three years later, I'm gonna upgrade it. I love to see that. I love to look back and see how she. You like to see the progression. Yeah. I love that. I love that. It's inspiring. It's inspiring. Right. And and yeah, see, House of Pancakes, man, he hit it. He hit it on the head, and I'm glad he brought it in 
from that angle. I would have loved to have gone into that area, but yeah, he hit it, definitely hit it on the head. They want to, they want the whole artist. They want to know, it's not like before, and we spoke about this, about being overexposed, like overexposure is like, doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Now you could be underexposed. They want to see your house. They want to know what you ate. They want to follow you to the bathroom. They want to get on the plane with you. They want to see you in the studio. They want to they want to see you, you know, in some really really vulnerable times. This is what's this is what the audience these days mm-hmm. are looking for. And a lot of us from old school, we have an issue with that. That's too open for us. Even though I try to be there, there's still a lot of shit that I want people to see. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. I you wonder. I wonder if House of Pancakes is in the industry. I don't know. I don't know, but you know what? Because he, you're right. He, he hit it right on the nose. So is he in the industry? Yeah. Let me let me get. The oh, yes, somebody? perfect example. That's what I was gonna say. Is Russ? Russ is the perfect example. But he's an amazing artist. Oh my God, he's so great. I love his music. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, D. Marie, listen, you're on a great platform. I have a lot of respect for you and your crew. Um, you know, I'm always here. Me and Angel are always here if you ever have any questions. Not that we know it all, but sometimes there might be some shit that you might need to know and we can, we can help you. There might be other stuff that we'd be like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know that. what? Oh, you know what? Maybe we can all figure this out together. Well, that's what I want. You know, yeah, this maybe is what we can I want. all figure this out together. Yeah. We, we Listen, we're open. We, we really, really looking to help the community. We did what we did. We're still doing shit. The stuff that we're doing, nobody could get in the way of it. Nobody's doing the stuff that we're doing. So the music and building and, and maintaining the genre, we're here, we we want to do this. And, and there's going to be a lot of resistance and there's going to be people telling other people, oh, man, I don't pay them no mind, you know? <laughs> but this is what we want to do. Let's, let's check these messages. Look at this site or this app, right? This app is raw. It is unpolished, unscripted, unfiltered. This is the yeah. next generation. And as live music shifts, live music is going to be changing. You know, it's going to be changing uh, quite a lot, not just due to uh, things happening with Corona and all that stuff. It's changing because the youth, they're changing. They have different needs, they have different attention spans, they have different wants. Yeah. And yeah. because there's this impact of Spotify and YouTube musical tastes are changing. You have young kids with radically broad tastes in music that have never existed before. And so when they're looking at sampling, when they're looking at all kinds of things, they have so much to draw on that previous generations had to go hunt and dig. And, and these guys have it all at their fingertips and what they're creating is something totally new and totally different. And we're right on the edge of something really, really new. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's incredible. And that's exactly what I was saying before, you know, like the, the, you know, you have these artists that are not in any particular category. It's like you ask them, well, what kind of music you, what kind of music you do? And they were like, well, I do a little, they can't explain it because it doesn't really exist. There is no, there is no name for it. And that's, it's a beautiful thing. I love it. But did Um, did you hear what House of Pancakes just said, which was so funny and so true, their attention span. Okay. They, yeah. they don't have a large attention span anymore. None of us do. I think the internet screwed I think the kids everybody. really don't, though. Because I'll tell the kids, yeah. hey, let's watch a Christmas movie. And they'll watch it for about five minutes. Then it'll be right on their phones. They have to be yeah, on their phone and watching it at the same time. They have to do two or three things at the same you time. You know what? There's so many different interesting things out on the internet that it's hard to just hang out. Sometimes you hang out with one thing for too long. You kind of feel like you're being cheated. You're like... Damn, man, there's all this other good shit. Right. You know, I'm spending three hours and on this. You know, thing. maybe it's not, maybe it's not, a, maybe they have too much of an attention span that they have to be doing two and three things at one time. Yeah. Well, that's why things right? like Twitter and stuff, social media like that, that's why those things kicked in because they, they you know, it took you so 23. They don't like things too case. long. They don't like things too long. Don't give yeah. them a two yeah. hour movie half the time. I'm just curious, House of Pancakes, leave us a message. Are you, are you part of the industry? Are you in the music business? And, and, I, I'm so Or are you curious. just a really, or are you just uh, one of these incredible fans that really, really see what's or, going on? Because right, and, if, and, guys... is in, and is in tune. And is definitely yeah, yeah. in tune. Let me hear this. Yeah, I'm in the industry. I'm in the industry, no no, no doubt. Okay. Knew it. 
<laughs> the issue is simple is that now we have an interactive expectation and simply just a passive experience is not enough we need everything to be interactive yeah yep absolutely yep 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 they yep those comments that's why when uh artists get online and they 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 engage with the audience mm -hmm. that thing has a lot of power in it right it has a lot of power so, that's but what, you know what else something of, that he brought up that you that was so important to you it was important what? to you to get on a new platform it was important for you for us not to do this on facebook not to do right. this on instagram to get on this right. new platform stereo and do this right right yeah and you know we could have did this on on facebook and probably gotten a, a thousand listeners and you know a lot of people engaging um it, i don't that wasn't important not yet that i would love to get that over here but I think it's important to, there's too much noise over there when it comes to freestyle, you mm -hmm. know, too much noise, too much happening. And I don't want the distraction. I really want to take this serious. I really want the people say like Dee Marie, she's coming on board. It shows me she's really serious. She's on a different level with this. Absolutely. She's on, and, and, you know, and let me throw it out there. She's a woman. She's a woman. And you know, Dee Marie, I work with a lot of women, all the girl, all the artists I work with close were females, angel by herself, cover girls, SAL, little Susie. Okay. And, you know, and, and, you know, I was the guy who had to step in because of the big bad bullies of the industry who would treat a lot of the women basically like shit, you know? Um, and that's just, and that, a lot of industries, you know, a lot of the industries are like that. So, you know, you have, I know you already probably already dealing with that. I hear you, <laughs> you know, but uh, just keep doing you. Just keep doing you. That's all I can say. You know. Here you will get the right listeners. So you'll get listeners that are right on the edge. And it's not about the number of listeners you'll get, but but who they are. Quality. And and how Quality. they think. Absolutely. I'm not hey, I agree. House of Pancakes, curious. Are you familiar with the industry with the freestyle market? The industry that we're in. You know, acts like the cover girls, Stevie B, Lisa Lisa, and so on. I'm just wondering, you know, what's your, your your level of knowledge when it comes to that industry? Because that's where we're under. We've been doing this for basically over 30 years. This is what we do. But you know so, what? You know what? I definitely, I, I definitely love the idea of coming on this platform also so we could get to know people as they came on. Right. Right. When we're right. building an audience, we're building an audience that is almost like a family where we all know each other. Yeah, right, we're right. We're all trying to figure this out together. And I think hearing the voices, I think hearing the voices is important. You know, hearing the voices is important. Um, I really, you know, sometimes you can't really get the feeling across when people are just texting, <laughs> when you're just posting. Sometimes that can come across. Mama, I used to tell you, be careful when you write people because they could take it. And I would take a sentence and tell it to, that sentence to you like five different ways and show yeah. you how, how it yeah. would mean different things. And I said a lot right. of people... That's how they, you know, they. That's how they, they read stuff. It. They'll read it with, yeah. you know, so they. It could be like, so who are you? Or it could be, so who are you? You know, so it depends on, you know, how you look at it. Let me listen to this message. <laughs> You're talking Lisa Lisa Colt Jam. That was they played yeah. at my high school grad party. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So that's a genre of music called freestyle. When you get a chance. Um, you could look at the groups like Lisa Lisa, Stevie B, Cover Girls. You know, we're here also to educate people on the genre. It's an incredible genre. Been around for years. I guarantee you probably most of the artists you have heard their biggest records. They all have multiple records, a lot of hits out there. They've all been on Billboard charts. There's a lot of videos on YouTube based on them. Do the research, man, because you, you really know your shit. And I would really, you know, uh, this is the thing with this platform. I would love to introduce this genre to other people. It just, it feels good. That was, so the thanks, whole, that was the whole plan to introduce this to other people that are interested in music that was absolutely the plan <laughs> stevie b also played uh at my high school grad party it was it was uh, lisa lisa colt jam stevie b timmy t and cnc music factory <laughs> <laughs> well okay yeah and, and you all book, of those people you book every single one of them latif yeah i work with all those artists um and it was so funny is that they're all working right now so they're all doing big concerts. We all do shows together, of course, pandemic. Matter of fact, uh, for New Year's Eve, uh, Angel, who my co-host, my wife also, um, will be in uh, Chicago, New Year's Eve uh, bash with Stevie B and a few other acts out there. So 
But uh, yeah, so I'm glad you 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 keyed into where we're at, so you kind of understand what we're doing. And the issue that we're having is most of the artists in this genre, pretty much more or less, more or less in their 50s. Some are younger, some are a little older. Um, and we were trying to see how do we introduce or reintroduce this genre of music to the youth. And we don't feel, I personally don't feel that taking the current artists and introducing the current artists as is to these youth is the way to go. I don't think that that, they'll look at them and say, oh, that's cool, and they'll move on. But to really give them to a point where they're gonna get interest, I feel that we need to bring in a younger talent to come in and maybe embrace this genre and then take the genre and, and, and you know, express it the way they, they feel it should be expressed. So that way their peers can, can really vibe with it. So that's the whole goal of this, of this discussion. So hit me up, uh, definitely, because I, I, I would like to see about uh, getting you uh, do, doing something. We got to do something. So we have a new platform that we're launching uh, that's part of our existing platform. We are the largest uh, music platform on the Internet. We have over 100 million monthly active users, a um, number of other properties. I'm director of strategy for the company. OK, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we'll, we'll try to connect. Listen, I'm on social media under my name, Latif Mikado. My angel's under Angel Mikado, Angel OCG. So let's connect maybe on Facebook. That's like our main platform. That's where we hang out most of the time when we're not in here. So try to reach out to us and uh, and then we'll take it from there, man, because I'll definitely be interested to see what you guys are doing. Maybe we can somehow collab, you know. Well, you can but, reach uh, out to us on any platform just using at yeah. Latif Picardo. At L-A-T-I-F-M-E-R-C-A-D-O. Yep. All right, guys, anybody else listening, um, if you can follow us, that'd be great. Um, we're trying to put um, an episode out every single day at noon Eastern time. So um, if you follow us, you'll be able to um, you'll get a notification um, and then you can subscribe to the show. So when it starts, it, they let you know. Um, and like I said, we're trying to talk about different topics under this umbrella. We're really trying to stay on topic because music in, can be huge. It, it's general. It can be we don't want to go there. We want to stay you know, under this umbrella and really try to work together. Not saying that we're trying to fix shit because we can't. We need your help. We need everybody's help. We need people to pitch in and, and pull other people. Get our community up in here. It's only for an hour for the day. Come on in and let's discuss. Come in with some questions or maybe you have an idea for a topic. So let's vibe. Let's make it happen. You know, but we're going to be shutting down now. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Baby there? Yes. Yes, I was just listening to your sexy voice. Yes, please tune in, okay. please join us. We can't do this alone. Thank you so much for being here, and ciao. We're gonna, I'm gonna hear this last message, and then we're gonna, we're gonna dip, guys. We appreciate you once again. Thank you, and uh, be safe out there. Um, my email is d dot ray r a y at ultimate dash guitar. Dot com. So it's d.ray at ultimate-guitar.com. So Ultimate Guitar is our property, or one of our main property. We'll find you. We got you, brother. Thank you. Good night, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.